Hey there, folks. Mike Rowe here, ready to get our hands dirty with a fascinating topic in construction diaphragm walls. Now, you might be wondering, what in the world is a diaphragm wall? Well, imagine a massive underground concrete wall acting as a barrier and a support system all in one. That's a diaphragm wall in a nutshell. These walls are like the unsung heroes of many urban construction projects. They're often hidden beneath the surface, but their role is crucial. Think of them as the backbone of skyscrapers, underground parking lots, tunnels, and even water-retaining structures. They provide stability to the ground and keep things from caving in, especially when you're digging deep. So how do we build these massive underground walls? It all starts with digging a deep, narrow trench. This isn't your backyard ditch. We're talking about trenches that can go down hundreds of feet. Special excavators equipped with powerful tools are used to carefully dig out the earth section by section. The trench needs to be precise and stable as it forms the mold for our concrete wall. Imagine trying to bake a cake in a wobbly, uneven pan. It just wouldn't work. Similarly, the trench for a diaphragm wall needs to be just right to ensure the strength and integrity of the final structure. Now, here comes the interesting part. As we dig deeper, the sides of the trench are prone to collapsing. To prevent this, we use a clever technique called slurry wall technology. Imagine filling the trench with a special liquid that acts like a temporary wall. This special liquid, called bentonite slurry, is a mixture of clay and water. It's thicker than water, but thinner than concrete, and it has some amazing properties. The pressure of the slurry prevents the trench walls from collapsing inwards, keeping everything stable and safe for the next steps. Section four, building the wall, reinforcing and concreting. With the trench excavated and supported, it's time to build the actual wall. First, a steel cage made of rebar is lowered into the slurry-filled trench. Next comes the concrete. We pump concrete into the bottom of the trench, slowly displacing the lighter bentonite slurry. The concrete rises up, filling the entire trench and encasing the steel reinforcement cage. This creates a solid, continuous wall that will harden over time. Section 5, Advantages of Diaphragm. Walls, Strength and Versatility. Diaphragm walls are like the heavy lifters of the construction world. They're incredibly strong and can withstand enormous pressure from the surrounding soil and water. This makes them ideal for supporting deep excavations and creating underground spaces in challenging ground conditions, but their advantages don't stop there. Diaphragm walls are also incredibly versatile. They can be built in various shapes and sizes, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. Plus, they can be waterproofed, making them perfect for underground structures like basements and tunnels. Section six, real world applications from basements to tunnels. So where do we see these impressive structures in action? Everywhere. Diaphragm walls are used in the construction of deep basements for skyscrapers, providing stability and preventing water seepage. They're also used to build underground parking garages, subway stations, and even underwater tunnels. Take, for instance, the Petronas Twin Towers in Malaysia. These iconic skyscrapers were built using diaphragm walls to support their massive weight and provide a stable foundation. Or consider the Channel Tunnel connecting England and France. This underwater marvel wouldn't be possible without diaphragm walls, which acted as a barrier against the immense pressure of the English Channel. Diaphragm walls are a testament to human ingenuity in construction. They allow us to build deeper, taller and stronger structures, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And that's pretty darn impressive, wouldn't you say?